The title of this story is Zinnia's Flower Garden. The title means the name of the book. You can usually find the title in bold letters on the front or the cover of the book. In this book, Zinnia's Flower Garden is written by and illustrated by Monica Wellington. That means Monica wrote the words and Monica drew the pictures. Spring has arrived. Zinnia is getting her garden ready for planting. She digs up the soil and turns it over with her shovel. She takes out stones and rakes the dirt smooth. The warm sun feels good as she works. Let's look at this page. All the tools Zinnia is using. She has a rake, a hoe, a wheelbarrow, shovels. She has smaller rakes and shovels. She's got organic fertilizer for her soil. And she has a journal that she's going to write all about her garden. Her journal now has a date on it. It says May 3rd. Very busy planting my seeds today. Such hard work. Zinnia carefully plants many kinds of flower seeds in rows. She covers the seeds with dirt and pats it all down very gently. She sprinkles the ground with water. Let's look out now the new tool Zinnia is using. She has bags of flowers. She has Cosmos, Black Eyed Susan, Asters, and it shows us a picture of which the seeds looked like. Zinnia has red gloves so she won't get dirt under her fingernails. And she also has a watering can, which you fill up with water, you carry it to your garden, and you pour all of the water on the plants. Zinnia waits for the seeds to sprout. The seeds need the sun to shine, the rain to fall, and many days to pass. It is hard to wait so long for her seeds to grow. And if you look down at the bottom corner, in Zinnia's journal, she wrote the date, which is May 12th. Rain all day. Ugh but it is good for my garden. I'm noticing in Zinnia's journal, she's writing down her observations on things that she can either see, hear, taste, touch, or smell. Our observations have to do with our five senses. So she's writing down all of those activities that she can see, hear, touch, smell, or taste in her journal. Let's look at all of the different types of weather Zinnia has to deal with while she waits for her seeds to sprout. She has a cumulus cloud, a cereus cloud, a nimbus cloud, and a stratus cloud. Those are all different types of clouds that come in our sky. And we see the nimbus cloud is the one with precipitation or water. Every day, Zinnia checks her garden to see if anything has happened. Look! The first seedling is poking its way up through the dirt. <gasps> Let's look. She has a label, and remember we said label tells us what is in the picture. It says stages of germination. Germination is the process of plants growing. We see there's a seed, and there's a little white root, and the root has finally touched the surface level of the ground, and then a sprout sticks up, which is the green leaves. And let's look at what else is in the soil. What are those pink wiggly things that look like snakes? Those are called earthworms. And birds eat earthworms. And let's look at her journal for the day. She says, May 20th, my first sprout today. Wow, Zinnia is very proud of her garden. I would be too. Now Zinnia's garden is full of green sprouts growing toward the sun. Little stems grow taller. Little leaves get bigger, little roots burrow deeper into the earth. And on Zinnia's garden journal, she has the date, May 29th. Lots of sprouts now, I can't even count them all. So she has so many, she can't even use her fingers to help her count. Let's look at the stages of germination at the top of the page, which is the stages of the plants growing. We see the plant has the leaves and then it has sprouts. Then it has longer leaves, bigger leaves, and a longer stem. And then at the last picture, the roots are so long, you can't even see where they end. And the sprouts are almost up to the top of the picture. Wow. And it looks like her dog and her cat are enjoying all the plants in their yard. 
and she put her labels of her pictures in the garden so she can know which plants are where. Very smart, Zinnia. Zinnia takes care of her garden every day. When the sun is hot and the soil is dry, she waters her thirsty plants. On today's journal, she has June 17th. No rain for a week. My garden is so dry. So if the rain doesn't come, how does Zinnia water her garden? <gasps> yes, she uses her watering pan and she also uses a hose which you connect to your house so you can use the water from in your pipes and help it go out into your garden. And let's look at all the creatures she has outside now. She's got mice, snails, frogs, earthworms, ladybugs, and a caterpillar. There's a lot of creatures outside of Zinnia's garden. Oh, and we can't forget the birds. The birds are living in the nest. She pulls up pesky weeds that try to crowd out her plants. She inspects them for greedy bugs. She measures how tall her strong and healthy plants are growing. Every day, they get bigger and bigger. And today in Zinnia's journal, she writes, July 7th, my sunflower plants are so tall. I hate weeds. Hmm, what do you think weeds are in this picture? And how can we tell the difference between weeds and plants that we want to keep in our gardens, like flowers, fruits, and vegetable plants? I guess we'll have to find out. Let's look at the tools Zinnia is using to help her measure. What do we use in class to measure? We use a ruler. Ruler tells us the inches, centimeters, millimeters, sometimes feet of how tall something is and you line it up and you look at the lines and you follow the line to help you tell what is the length of this item. And let's look at all the type of bugs she has in her garden. She's got dragonflies, beetles, bees, mosquitoes, flies, spiders, caterpillars, ladybugs, grasshoppers. She's got so many different bugs around and insects in her garden. I wonder if they help her plants grow or do they harm her plants because she calls them greedy bugs. So I wonder if they're eating her garden. Okay friends, that's the first part of the story, Zinnia's flower garden. We will read the next half of the story tomorrow. In this part of the story, we learned all about Zinnia's flower journal. She writes about her observations, and which are things we can see, smell, touch, hear, or taste. She mostly tells us the date of each observation so we know what happens on that certain date. And she tells us what she can see happening outside and what's going on with her garden. How are her plants changing? We learned all about the different tools Zinnia needs for her garden. She uses a watering can, shovels, rakes, hose, wheelbarrows. She's got fertilizer, soil. She needs the hose from the house. She has all of her different flowers, cosmos, black-eyed Susan, asters. She uses gloves to keep from soil getting under her nails. She also told us about the different types of clouds. She told us how different plants grow the stages of germination. And Zinnia told us all about the different creatures and bugs and worthworms and frogs that grow and live around her garden. Whoa, who knew there was so much to gardening? 